Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh coming to you once again with another Barefoot Shoe Review and it's still summertime. We're still talking sandals. I'm loving the sandals. You know me, I'm in San Diego here. I love my barefoot sandals. And so we're gonna get into it here in just a second. And these have custom options, regular options, so even cooler than normal. Uh, but real quick, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can catch my videos in a timely fashion. Sometimes I do sale announcements, other things you wanna get quickly. So do that, like, subscribe, notifications. And then next, you're gonna to wanna to follow me on Instagram, at Barefoot Shoe Josh. Why? Because I do more detailed reviews there than what I do on these quick videos. I score the shoes in a bunch of different areas. Plus you get cool pics of Barefoot Shoes coming across your Instagram feed. Who doesn't want that? So let's get into the review. The company is, well, the company and the model. The company is Unshoes and the model is the Kyoto Sandal. I'll give you a quick glimpse. <laughs> not that you can tell anything from this because it's not on my foot. I'll show you it on my feet at the end of this video if you hang out, uh, or you can just scroll forward if you wanna see that. But uh, that's the general look. But real quick, the company Unshoes was founded by Terrell Fox, and uh, he just learned about barefoot shoes, barefoot running, started making his own sandals, started selling them on Etsy back in 2010, and slowly that developed into the company Unshoes. It's still a small company out of Cedar City, Utah, so US-based, US employees, all that good stuff. So, um, but yeah, <laughs> it is a small company. So keep that in mind as you order and stuff and, and, and all that kind of thing. But I want to tell you about the sandal here. All right, boom. So I chose the olive green option. There are uh, a couple of other options, pink and black. I think that's it, but they do have five other or so sandal models. Uh, if you're not interested in these, or if you want some closed shoes, they have some cool slip-ons, they have some ladies' shoes, a few different options. So definitely worth using my link down below to go to their website, check out the options. It helps me out a little bit. Plus you save 10% on your order if you use my link and or barefoot uh, and discount code, whatever I have down here in the video description. Okay, I forget the details right now. But uh, all uh, as when it comes to the sandals, these are barefoot sandals. Now you say, aren't all sandals barefoot sandals? No, they're not. Why? Because some don't have uh, the barefoot shoe values, which I'm gonna cover here in this moment. So what are they? Zero drop from heel to toe. You're not standing on a slant or, or a heel of any kind. Secondly, you have no arch support. It's just a perfectly flat surface that you're standing on because your arches are plenty strong the way they were designed to be. And they're uh, meant to be strong and stay strong. And to do that, you gotta use them and not stuff arch supports under them for your whole life, okay? Um, next. Uh, anatomic foot shape. Now this one's uh, interesting because if you look at this shape and that doesn't happen to be your particular foot shape, hang out anyways. They have a lot of different foot shapes. That's part of the custom options I talked about. I mentioned real quick at the beginning of the video. So they have stock options. Now if you print their little uh, shoe outline shape on the stock option, see if it fits your foot. If it fits your foot, wonderful. If it doesn't, choose the custom option and now you have six shapes to choose from. Now this one happens to be my foot shape like butter, like it's perfect. It was almost as if I traced my foot on the paper. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I chose this option, but they have, you know, they have an extra wider one even. They have ones that are more like immediately sloped. They have ones that are more like kind of straight, straight across. And, and anyway, six different options. Plus you choose where the toe strap goes. So you just trace your foot on, on there. You see which uh, toe post position uh, makes sense. I'm sorry, you don't trace your foot. You, you print out the, the shape that looks the most like your foot. You put your foot on it and then you find out which number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is the best spot for, for your toe strap. You tell them that information, boom, you're getting a customized sandal. You choose the color and all that stuff. It's only a few bucks more than the regular. Speaking of which, the price. All right, these guys are very reasonable in the barefoot sandal world. They're 63 bucks. If you do the custom option, it's only 75. Another 12 bucks, you get exactly the shape you want, get exactly the position of the toe strap. You know, I mean, I, what can be said? That's a reasonable price for a custom sandal that's gonna fit your foot ideally, okay? Um, did I say flexible? I forgot to mention how flexible they are. Look at the soles. That's one of the other barefoot shoe, shoe values. So check that out. Uh, roll test, taco test, and uh, you know, twists and all that good stuff. These are plenty flexible, healthy shoes. Uh, one of the cool options that's that's a differentiator on this particular model, and the reason I chose this model, was this little <coughs> beautiful elastic circle band here on the front strap. You see that? So you have kind of a stable attached strap there. Another one on this side over here with a little loop at the top essentially. 
And on that side, same thing, comes out of the shoe. No, no wraparounds, no plugs sticking out of the bottom. It's just the sole. Speaking of which, look at that sole with those nice little lugs. These are great for hiking, running, uh, outdoor adventures, as well as just casual wear, which is more my style. But, um, but then, so you have the stable strap there, there, and in the front. And then you have this little ring. And then what you have is a circle strap or, that goes around your ankle and with one adjustment. You just adjust the tightness and it pulls or loosens on this band. And once you have it all adjusted for your foot, uh, the cool thing about the elastic band, see it stretches, whoop, 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 is that you put your foot through the hole and you pull this strap, strap back and snap on, you, you got, got it just as tight as you want it and it fits snug as you choose. So you can go extra snug if you're gonna be a runner, hiker, that sort of thing, you don't wanna stub your toe or, or anything like that, or you can keep it a little casual, loose like I like mine. So that's that. Um, again, six shapes, nine different uh, positions there. I gave you the prices. You save 10% if you use my link. Uh, what else? Anything else I wanted to cover? Oh, if you're not super into sandals, they do have some cool um, kind of covered shoes or slip-ons. Uh, I actually have a pair. I love them. I'm going to do a separate video. I'm going to post it. I've actually already made the video. You'll see it soon. Just stay tuned. Again, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. If you like slip-ons, I love slip-ons. And uh, they also have some women's shoes, other things to check out. Great little company. Uh, support them where you can. Look, it's not Amazon. You're not going to get them tomorrow. So be patient with your orders, especially this time of year, ordering sandals. Everybody's ordering sandals. Just be cool and uh, set your expectations normally, okay? Oh, I do want to point out one last thing, this footbed. You see the kind of texture they have on there? It looks like a topographic map almost. And there's their little logo, Unshoes, right there. You can see right there, unshoes. Kind of, can you see it? <laughs> All right, super cool. Oh, uh, but when you get wet, this grippy kind of rubbery uh, feel is more non-slip than some other sandals when they get wet. So that's a cool thing. Like some other ones that have, have leather footbeds, other things you don't really want to get wet and they get slick and, and slippery and slimy even. <laughs> but, but if you're going to be somewhere out and about and you might get wet or go through a stream or, you know, get caught in the rain or whatever the case may be, or you go to the beach or the pool and your feet are wet, these are going to keep nice and grippy for you. Okay. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to say about, oh, oh, one last thing. I started to cover, talk about this ring and how it adjusts and all that. But one of the things style-wise that caught me about it was once you have it on, that strap goes right straight down the middle of your foot and into that groove between your big toe and the next toe. A lot of ones, uh, other barefoot sandals come in from the side and wrap around that kind of second toe. And a lot of people with sensitive feet don't care for that and all that. So I think it's cool, super cool, balanced looking style-wise. And I just like some about the aesthetic of that strap coming down the middle. I really uh, tend to like. So I have a two different pairs now with that style. I don't know why more uh, sandal brands aren't doing that, but it feels really balanced on your foot that way. And you can adjust it however you want. Super great sandal. Uh, if you want more details on the scoring, follow me on Instagram and check those out. Uh, but real quick, I'm going to um, show you these on my feet. I'm going to turn around, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. Um, so hang out for that if you want. Otherwise, catch you on the next video. See you soon.